Hi all. Well, version 2's come out for the ICOM 7600 and I've done the upgrade on the firmware and that's what it looks like at the moment. I'm just waiting for a Wi-Fi uh, mouse to come so I can actually play uh, with the Spectrum and see what uh, else is new on there. Okay, so what do you do? Right, you need a memory stick. Um, I've got a hub on at the moment. I'm just testing this out to see if it all works. So, what you do first of all, get your memory stick, stick it in your... Turn the radio off first. Stick uh, the memory stick in the USB port, turn the radio on. Uh, once it's on and it comes up, it won't be a version 2, you'll probably have uh, 110 on or 111. Uh, go to exit, go to set, go to USB and format as it says there, format your memory stick so you format that, it will actually format it um, and then once you're formatted go to save and then save everything that you've already got as long as you want to keep them anyway save all the information that you've got on your radio already, which I did and um, once it's saved you'll have a file a little bit like this this is one I've copied from my memory stick decode settings and voice so most of it's going to be in your settings so there's mine that's been saved so once you've done that once you've saved them onto your memory stick um, <coughs> go to your computer and as I've done just copy it onto uh, your hard drive on your computer and save it there I've put in ICOM 7600 backup settings so that's what I've called it so then you go to or beforehand you go to um, ICOM website and on the ICOM website you want the no update 7600 version 200 and you can also download the new uh, manual so that's there as well and also uh, firmware update info so that tells you what's new so you can have a look at those but you just need that file so what you do is um, copy the files from your memory stick onto your hard drive then what I would do I know it's a bit of faffing about other people have got different ways that they do it then I'd go back to my um, radio and um, set it back up. So you've got nothing there. Um, so all you need to do is copy your files across onto your hard drive. Go back to get that file, 7600-200. Copy that across onto your memory stick doesn't matter where I put it um, on the top where it says I, I, I see 7600 just there so I'd copy it and put it there then turn your radio back off put your memory stick back in um, go back into your me menu and um, once you're in your menu go to USB and then firmware update so you click on your firmware update and then it will ask you to find your firmware. So because you've got it already on your memory stick and it's going to be on the top tier, because firmware up or even let's say load, won't say anything because it's got nothing in there. So you can actually go and find on the directory here, you go and find it. So it's on the top tier anyway and you know what it's called, the 7600 uh, 200 find that and just press um, update so then it will actually go and update the firmware onto uh, the radio then it will actually actually ask you to turn the radio off you turn the radio off then turn it back on and then it will start all your settings or put all the new firmware into the radio so once you've got all the new firmware in then it will come up as um, something like this 
<coughs> let's just pull it down a bit it'll come up like this when it first loads it'll come up as version 2 so that's the firmware update so then you go back to your um, memory stick stick the memory stick back uh, or sorry turn the radio off stick your memory stick back into the radio and then go to um, exit set USB load and then what you want to do press load and then go and find your file which is in your 7600 settings and load that file up so once you've loaded that file up then it shall actually put all your settings on there so all the settings that you had before it will reload them back up uh, turn your radio off turn your radio back on and that's it you'll be up and running with all the settings that you used to have all your memories and anything on the sides that you got setting up or anything and all your times your bandwidth and all the rest and that's it so it's it's that easy really uh, but do just check on um, your, your manual that you've got for your uh, 111 uh, just for the update and everything just to make sure you know what you're doing because anything I tell you if you get it wrong then it's down to you so I've just given you my experience of how I did mine and once it's up and done uh, you can get a Wi-Fi mouse and um, play with the, the spectrum scope and go across and all there's absolutely loads you can do so there you go that's the new update um hopefully that's helped if not just uh post a message below and um, i'll answer whatever i can it's a pity i just didn't do a video when i was actually updated or updating the radio first time i've uh, updated the radio so i wanted to make sure i got it right myself so exactly how i've told you i did it is uh, how i did it so there you go okay enjoy m0a of eight